reactor. Hello everybody! Well, Galarian oh, Sangby shit, here. Welcome to the next animal. episode. I I've become an old man and in between episodes. Nah, not really. Hey, welcome! So let's kick things off things off with something interesting. Ing. Supposedly, there's a game here that the, that the kids do, so let's see if we can be a part of it. Hey, now that we got their permission. Hello. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. You may want to talk a little louder. The gold saucer's oh, drowning yeah, you out. There's this tired-looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. Hmm, interesting. We'll go check out that guy a little later. For now, let's check out this mini game. Sounds like a little bit of fun. Oh, hey, Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. Why, thank you. Look at those point towels. A special cog wheel. I don't know what the cog wheel is. I forget what it is. The top, the, the and this taking part gives us a Moogle medal. Let's play whack a box. Now I'm not the best at getting high scores here, especially since they want you to come back with later skills and higher attack and better weapons and whatnot just to actually beat this. And they show Cloud using the baseball bat. I don't know if the bat is actually the better weapon of choice for this game. The basic rules. Destroy as many boxes as possible within the time limit. Although now that I think about it, I guess that you might be trying out the bat at this point. So Each box will add to your score. And, will add, and once the timer reaches zero, the game is over. Reach the target score to win. The durability, effects, and score differs from each type of box. Hitting the blue boxes rapidly fill your ATP gauge. Age in whack a box, you can only use your weapon ability of the weapon you're equipped and the braver ability. This is one thing I completely forgot about. Destroy red boxes to extend your time. Let's go! Time to smash a lot of boxes! Braver! Yeah, so this is one annoying thing that you can only use the ability from the weapons that you have, the weapon you have equipped. So when you're going into this game, you still have to choose your weapon. And I actually didn't know there was boxes behind here. Sorry. Did that actually count as hitting the box, or did that completely miss? Please be worth coming up here. Whoa, that was a lot of boxes we just destroyed. Okay, we added more time. Okay, let's go back down. Let's destroy this, this, this 1,500 point box. Break yourself. Cloud, you missed! Triple slash. Good. Let's do this. Let's do the Punisher. Braver. Come on, break this box. Break the box. Triple slash. Good. Let's braver this box Sorry. pile. Yeah, that was a lot of points. Added more time. 2,000 points. I don't think I'm gonna make it to 3,000. Braver! Braver again! 
Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to break these boxes in time. Triple slash! No, I didn't get the 3,000. Oh, but I got close though. Bet if I came here with the end game weapons, this is so much easier. Wow, Cloud! I've never seen anyone do that before! See? Pretty fun, right? Play with us again, okay? Well, what do you think? So we got a few things. I don't I think the special cog wheel is just hey, you got the score, so this is just the achievement of you getting that score. But anyway, let's go and find this man that Oates talked about. That was looking into something. Come on, Cloud, please move. You heard what they said on the Let's see where he is. That's what's called. Should be somewhere. Hmm? Uh, come on! The map. Follow the map. The map will guide us. There he is. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. Gee, I wonder why. My identity as a reporter has been exposed. My sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the merc of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. So you want us to look into the Angel of Slums? Any and all information pertaining to the so-called Angel of the Slums. Well, I guess the best place we can look up, up the Angel of the Slums is in an old retirement home. It's yours. Why, hello! What is it? The Guardian Angel of the Slums? Such a mysterious figure. Always talked about, but never seen by anyone. The Angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. <gasps> Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the Angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, that would be pretty badass. Say about the dozens of stories I've heard. Well, they weren't that helpful. Anybody here want to be helpful? Anybody at all? What's that? The guardian angel of the slums? Come to think of it, a reporter came sniffing around asking about her. You his man? Huh. <laughs> Even if I knew something, I wouldn't tell you. Folks around here, the angel is a hero. I ain't selling her out to Shinra. Wow. Is there still somebody in here that we need to talk? Oh, do we? We can talk to this guy. This here's the Sector Five community. Oh no, you just tell us about the community center. You're not helpful at all. Hey, old dude. Uh, no, I doubt the record player would know anything about the Angel of the Slums Cloud. What? Do I know the guardian angel of the slums? Well, I don't know much, but I do know she doesn't steal from the poor, and she doesn't kill anyone either. As far as I'm concerned, that's all I need to know. If that's not enough for you, the one you ought to talk to is Marae. Ask anyone, and they'll tell you she knows everything about everyone around here. Hmm, Maria. That sounds interesting. Whoop, I accidentally walked into her. Good to see you again, Marae. Good to oh, see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. 
He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the Angel of the Slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Muck's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the Angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Interesting. All right, we'll go wait with the reporter. Hopefully she gives us some juicy info about the Angel of the Slums. Slum Angel, Slum Angel. So, any news? That sounds Have really bad when I say, say it like that. She told us that she had some information to share. Mirai, as in the Mirai, the town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap. So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us, what do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> Well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. A uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Of course, we gotta go look and... Is that a handcuffs that she's got there? Oh, that's a hook! I thought it was handcuffs. I'm like, why is she carrying around handcuffs? That doesn't make any sense. And it's for an old woman to carry around. But by going by her gear, I guess she's like an adventurer, so it wouldn't actually make sense for her to have like a hook and uh, wench. And it's for climbing. But anyway, let's go to this lookout point and see this monster. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I wonder if it's a dragon or a behemoth. It would be an interesting enemy yes. to see. Boxes! It would be definitely an interesting enemy to see. In case you're wondering, Lookout Point is all the way over here. So we're going to be running in the scrap for a fair bit. Both on the way there and on the way back. So, boxes! So, we're gonna have to run, run, run. Slum Angel. When when you say it like, thinking back to that, when you say it like that, that sounds like an insult. <laughs> like, I know she's called the Guardian of the Slums. The Angel of the Slums. So I wouldn't be surprised if people shorten it to uh, Slum oh, Angel. Think about it, it does sound pretty insulting. <laughs> All thing when when out of context. Easy. Great, some rats. No. Is the battle still going? Yeah. Oh, there's still enemy. Don't overdo it. I'm coming. Hey. I just yeah. remembered we maxed out Social Storm, but that'll at least kill most that of the it? enemies. Let me just double check to make sure I'm not an idiot. Okay, good. It is maxed out. Please wreck the boxes, Cloud. 
Oh no, wait, I went past the... Whoops. I went past the where we need to go. Because that's going to lead us to the station. It's here. And... No. Where's lookout point? No, it can't. Is that lookout point? Did I never go and look, uh, check out lookout point? Okay. I am an idiot in so many ways. I'm surprised I didn't, never went and looked at lookout point. Because if you go there anytime uh, beforehand, there's nothing there. No enemies or nothing. Can't believe I. Why did I flop the other direction? Don't you mean we've got this? Well, at least we get to kill more enemies. Not bad. Imagine some of you were screaming at your computer screens like, No! No, Zag me, you're going the wrong way! Uh, that does not look like it has lots of team, or that it's hungry. But it surely looks like it's gonna wreck our day. So do not attack the Iron Spear, you will do no damage, or at least very little damage. Your attacks will mainly just bounce off. Yeah, just look at the damage it did. Your attacks will mostly bounce off. I don't think you can destroy the Iron Spear. But let's assess this, this is a unique enemy. A ro an autonomous robot discarded by Shinra. As a part of its self-repair protocol, it used nearby scrap material to repair its body. It knocks down foes by swinging its arm with a wrecking ball attached. Became it like a wrecking ball! Normally attacks do not affect its stagger gauge, but inflicting a certain amount of, amount of physical damage does make it susceptible, su susceptible to staggering. And it's an, and it's to electricity. Yeah. Yeah. And I keep- Ow! Ow! That would hurt. Let's walk on to this part so that we don't accidentally- Okay, I'm silent, so I can't use spells. Uh, Aerith, do you have thunder? Yes, you do. Please, shock- Shock it. It's on you. Matter of fact, it makes more sense to be her. And that was I thought it was out of range of the attack. Go on. <laughs> How is this attack still going? Oh great, and now she's silent. Okay, Aerith, please sap it. Ouch. Go on. Take the lead. I'll take care of them. Please sap it with a thunder. You jittery? Build up your energy for tempest. That'll do. You can do it. Let's do this. Ooh, she took a big hit there. Keep using thunder on now. Great braver. One more shot. Come on, we're gonna kill it. Got reflected. Disorder! Right. Cloud, why did you aim for the iron ball? Why am I locked onto it? Come on, sap me a little bit. Build up my gauge. Yeah, now you're gonna eat a cross. Well, ouch! As soon as I recover, eat a cross slash. Now run away, because I think this thing does self-destruct. Guess we should look around. Or not. I thought it does self-destruct. Now look at all this. You're telling me the Angel of Slums sold all this? Pots, TVs, gas canisters for some reason. Like wow, the Angel of the Slums does some really good work. 
Angel's the guardian cards. angel of the slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. Yep, let, re let's return to the reporter. Cloud finds a calling card from um, the Angel of the Slums. Report back to the journalists. Come on, game. You can load faster. Hey, you two. Guess what we found? I can't believe it. You found one of her calling cards. This is the genuine article. I'm sure of it. Pinned by the angel herself. Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find. Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, I don't see any words on that card. mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. If the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about Probably that. Probably more friend. squished him. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. No harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip up Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. Nice one. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't <laughs> know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. I love that. Pace oh, sucked. <laughs> anyway, with that, no, I'll end things here and in the next episode, we'll go back home on the yeah. Arab's house. But wasn't there supposed to be a Turk? Anyway. Probably nothing bad is going to happen. See you all next time.